Canada has always been a nation of trailblazers. Long before the first Europeans arrived, there were paths, trails, and waterways that wound their way all across our majestic landscape. The fur trade created even more routes, ultimately culminating in a network of trails, portages, rivers, and lakes that joined two oceans. In time, narrow ribbons of steel would unite our new country, only to be followed by highways of asphalt and gravel. But those early trails that had been carved by the First Nations, voyagers, explorers, settlers, and the railways will always have a romance that four lanes of blacktop can never match. And then, in 1992, a magnificent vision was born to take the hundreds of trails and paths, roadways and unused rail lines that twisted across our country and make them one. And that was the beginning of one of the most ambitious and iconic undertakings in the history of our country, the Trans-Canada Trail, the world's longest recreational trail. It was such a bold and brilliant idea that speaks to who we are as Canadians, as trail builders, explorers, discoverers. But now this takes it so much further. You can explore this country at human speed. I'm Dana Mizey, and uh, I had a dream to walk across Canada. It's my second year, and I've walked uh, 3,000 kilometers of the trail, networking it. In order to understand you know, what it is to be Canadian, um, it's to be out there enjoying the natural environment. When I'm on these wheels and I'm out on the trail, I don't have a feeling of being disabled. I I feel like anyone else out enjoying the trails. Mostly since I moved into the house. It was about four years ago, I think. Um, ever since we've been using this trail a lot. Today, the trail is over 70% completed. And when it is, it will stretch for over 22,000 kilometers. From the Atlantic to the Pacific and Arctic Oceans, linking 33 million Canadians, four out of five of them living within 30 minutes of it. From the tranquility of a pristine Atlantic forest to the pulsating energy of a busy downtown core to a century-old train trestle that winds across a canyon in the Rockies, the Trans-Canada Trail offers a multitude of experiences that anyone at any time can discover. It's the open road. Um, every corner or, or every bend is a, uh, is a new adventure and a new experience. The reality is, is we have to reconnect with where we're from and who we are. And uh, the trail allows you to do that. When I'm on the trail, I just feel Canadian. To most, the essence of the Trans-Canada Trail will be the simple fact that it is there. It's how we can explore our country in whatever way we choose. An amazing experience that's there for all of us, and it's only going to get better. It's taken so much work on the part of volunteers, donors, government, sponsors, to get this trail built. But it's a legacy that will last for generations, and once it's on the ground, it's sacred. In the eyes of the world, that sacred trail is a tribute to our trailblazing heritage and a testament to the dedication and fortitude of the thousands of Canadians who helped to build it, support it, and nurture it. One glorious path, connecting three oceans and millions of Canadians that captures the essence of our culture, history, diversity, and ever-changing topography. You have an open invitation to come and share in something that is truly unique. The Trans-Canada Trail, your pathway to endless possibilities of discovery.